God sent you to be a blessing and to heal people. But they took you for granted. Move around. Because this world is in dying need of your anointing. Shout out to the WTC gang. We the chosen ones, baby. Let me tell you something. God sent you chosen ones to be a blessing to people. Amen. God has sent you to be a healer to people that need healing. Amen. But guess what? A lot of people took you for granted. They took you as a joke. Amen. They don't believe that you are a walking miracle. They don't believe you're the chosen one. They don't believe that you are a powerful spiritual being. I'm telling y'all straight facts right now. Listen. By them taking you for granted. They done missed out on their healing. By them taking you out. I mean taking you for granted. Amen. Guess what? They done missed out on their blessing. I just told you what happened to me yesterday. Somebody denied prayer for me. I don't know if he believe in God or not, but that's a first sign of showing me he don't believe in God. Because if you believe in God, you most definitely believe in the power of prayer. And God will give you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. God will give you discernment of people. And God will show you that this people needs healing. And I'm looking at this good brother. Got a good spirit. But you can tell he's going through something. The minute I walk into the room, Spirits are low. Energy is low. Vibes is low. Everybody gets quiet because you know why? You are a powerful spiritual being. You are really sent by God. This is why people get uh, quiet chosen ones when you walk into their presence. Not only they are talking about you, we know they're talking about you. But you have to understand how powerful your presence really is. All you got to do is show up and God is going to show out. All you got to do sometimes is just walk into people's presence and guess what? They're going to feel the Holy Spirit on you. They're going to feel the success on you. They're going to feel that God is with you. This is why people are intimidated when you even walk in their presence. You haven't even said anything yet. They're trying to figure out who sent you. Don't you be afraid to put in the comment below and say the source sent me. And welcome to this three people, by the way, as we just passed in three minutes. Amen. That just reminded me. Shout out to the three people. I need everybody to comment three people, baby, because it's going down tonight. Be ready for a live tonight because we're going higher. We're going higher because you have to understand. Guess what? The devil on his job 24-7. Why can't the chosen ones be on their job 24-7? Trials and tribulations always come in 24-7. While we can't come with this energy 24-7. So be ready tonight as we continue to lift up the name of Jesus. So don't you be afraid to put in the comments below right now and say it's going down tonight. Be ready for a powerful WTC live. But back to what I'm saying, chosen ones. You got to understand that your presence not only it speaks volumes, but your presence when you walk into people's other people's presence, guess what? You intimidate the heck out of people. Your aura is like, man, your, I don't know how to explain your aura. It's so magnetic. People are attached. They, they want to get attached to you. They want to draw themselves to you. They, 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 they really feel like you, this very powerful uh, spiritual being. They feel like you really, really uh, 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 were sent from the source. You were sent by the source. But they denied your healing. And by them denying, amen, your healing power. They done blocked their own blessing. But I still told that brother, by his stripes, you are healed. So people can't tell you they never, never ever witnessed anything about God or they never nobody never told him anything about God but make a long story short church was not only him amen but we talking about churches 
Let's take this. Let's get it even deeper. There's so many churches out there that is in dying need of your anointing. And it's sad. When I was a little bitty kid growing up at this church that I am now, I love them to death. But I'm starting to realize it's like, man, all these different dead spirits up in here. And God sent me here to bless y'all. God sent me here to heal y'all. And y'all coming at me like the op. I'm talking about church folks. These be the worst people. Church folks. You think you're going to church and you thinking you're going to be uplifted and motivated and you got to go around more Decepticons in the house of God. And God sent you to bless people, to heal people. And they take your love and your blessings and your healing power for granted. Your praying power for granted. And they still talking about you and you got a heart for people. They still hate you and you love them. You got to be really God serving. You got to be really chosen by God to still love people that hate you. Oh, my, 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 my. Jesus got to be, oh man, think about Jesus. They hated Jesus so much. And Jesus still loved them. Jesus still was healing people and he knew that they hated him. The Bible says, love those that per persecute you and use you. Love the, your enemies. Amen. But sometimes we got to learn to start loving people from a silver spoon and, and go give people that really deserve our blessings. Go give someone that really deserve our presence. Go someone that really deserves the anointing that God put on our lives so other people can get, be healed. You're wasting your anointing at a church, amen, that, that's not even accepting of your anointing. They're not even accepting of your gift. They don't even want to see you win. They don't want to get to the next level. The Bible even says it. It's going to be a great falling of the church. And I'm not saying, oh, let's, let's just start doing church hopping, but go out there and see what's for you, man. There's so many churches out here. Go out there and see what's for you. Every church ain't going to be for you, but it's okay to come back and visit. How y'all doing? How y'all being? This is where I grew up at. I see y'all doing your thing. God bless y'all. Because believe it or not, church are, churches are falling because of the spirits that are in the church. You got to understand that we are the church. <laughs> Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. I'm talking to these crazy, silly rabbits in church, these crazy church folks, these jealous church folks. You are the church, dummy. The minute you leave out of that church, you represent the church that you go to on every freaking Sunday. And they took your blessings. They took your healing power for granted. They took you for granted. You make the choir sing better. You understand what I'm saying? You you make the you bring the atmosphere in the church. You you bring blessed people with your presence and they can't stand you. Why you want to worship God around that mess? I'm not saying to run from these Decepticons or run from this church, but there's so many people that's in dire need of your anointing. Some churches that can really use what you're bringing to the table. There's some churches out there that's going to really love you and accept you and say, hey, man, whatever you're going through, I got your back. There's some churches really out there that's like that. Go out there and see what's for you, chosen ones. Go to a church that celebrates you and not tolerates you. I'm starting to realize some things. Same with these jobs. If your jobs ain't bringing you peace, if your job is taking you for granted, if your job is not paying you, paying you your worth, start your own business. That way you ain't got to worry about that anymore. You can work from home. You can do whatever you want to do and be at peace and still make a living. Do not let a fixed income determine your value. Join my WTC Mentoring Program. My email is going to be in the description below. 
I've said about a thousand times. Please look at my description if you guys want my email. A lot of people ask me, what is your email? Please look in the description. You're going to see it if you look at the description. If you're tired of that job, you're going to email me. If you want to start your own business, you're going to email me. All it takes is time, effort, energy, and your gift. Are you ready to go to the next level or are you going to work for the for the, for, for, for the next Decepticon that don't want to see you win? You're going to work for the next boss that would never pay you to be his neighbor. You decide. But I'm here to tell you right now, chosen ones, on this 3P. So they taking you for granted. Go somewhere that they won't take you for granted. They appreciate everything you do for them. Go somewhere and see where you can fit in. Because people, guess what? People right now, amen, the people that you're around right now, guess what? They can't stand you. Move around. This world is full of churches. This world is full of businesses. This world is full of opportunities. This world is full of new friends. Move around. That goes for your friends. Family members. They done took you for granted. God sent you to bless them, heal them, pray for them, and they showed you they ain't rocking with you like that. Go find you some new friends. Go find you some new uh, family members. Go find you a new boo. Straight facts. Fellas, what well, one woman won't do, another one will. Ladies, what well, one man won't do, another man will. Give with somebody that's going to really push you, man. Give with somebody that's going to heal you. Give with somebody and say, hey, man, let's pray. Whatever you're going through right now, we're going to pray about it, baby. Don't worry about it. Because this generation nowadays is sad. Tell me when the last time somebody prayed for you. Tell me when the last time somebody called you and said, hey, man, let's touch and agree right now. Let's pray. Let's do Bible study. Come on, man. Tell me when the last time somebody called you and said, hey, man, what you trying to do? I want to support you. Whatever your dream is, wherever your goal is, whatever you're doing, I want to support what you're doing. I want to be your number one cheerleader. I want to be your number one mascot. Ladies, if these men in your life, if they're not like a mascot in your life, they got to be a mascot. Go, baby. Go, baby. And they got to mean it. Men, if these women ain't out here, if they not like cheerleading, hip, hip, hooray, daddy. Hip, hip, hooray. That's my daddy. That's my papa. That's my chosen boo. If they ain't doing that every day, <coughs> <coughs> You better let them go. Because there's some people out there, man. They in dying need of your new intentions. Was all they in dying need of you. Just They just want you to just say hi to them. And this going to mean the world. And we too busy giving out our energy and anointing. And blessing people. Praying for people. You know, going through the storm with people. And then guess what? They done kicked us to the curve like a freaking soccer ball in the middle of the street. And there's some people out there, man, all you got to do is smile and you and just melt their heart. All you got to do is walk into their presence and they're going to jump on you and hug you with both arms and say, I just love you. I love what you stand for. I love who you represent. I love the person you becoming. Don't you be afraid to put it in the comments below right now on this repeat and say, if you ain't supporting, you ain't important. And you not a part of my double portion. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below. And say, if you ain't supporting, you're not important, and you're not a, and you're not going to be a part of my double portion. You're not going to be a part of this triple portion blessing. Because you took me for granted. And now God is getting ready to send somebody in your place because you want to be silly and take a chosen one for granted. Keep that same energy. I'll see y'all in live tonight. We still chosen if they ask them.